What's up guys, Justin here with TheSketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an extension that allows you to create custom line styles or dashed line styles inside of SketchUp. Before we get started, I wanna say a big thank you to my newest supporters on Patreon. So a big thank you to Zoman Pasquale, Alan Carlton, Rob McChesney, Steve Joy, Sarah Segrist, Giancoli McElroy, and Ruben Debrito Camargo. Patreon, as you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. If that's something you're interested in, you want to vote on the extension that I cover every week, maybe support the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, DP Line Styler. Plugin developer, David P. Plugin cost, it's $5. Where can you get it? You can download it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. This tool is designed to add dashed lines and curves as well as symbols inside of your SketchUp models. It's significantly more customizable than the SketchUp built-in dashed lines function. The way it works is fairly simple. You simply select an edge or a series of edges and then activate the tool to create a dashed line in the location that you've selected. There's a number of different lines already included in here and there's also the ability to create your own. One slightly odd function of this tool is that it leaves the other lines in place when you create your dashed lines, meaning you either need to hide those or delete them out in order to be able to see this. But you can see how this gives you a number of different lines and edges that you can use. And if I delete these other edges out, you can see how that'll, that'll basically leave behind a dashed line inside of your model. And so, if you double click inside this, you can see how what this does is this places actual dashed line geometry inside of your SketchUp models. And so you may be wondering why this is different than the dashed lines function that's contained inside the layers function in SketchUp 2019. Really the best thing about this extension is the ability to customize as well as add symbols. So let's say for example that I wanted to take this edge and I wanted to add a line with a symbol on it, like this oxygen function, you could take this and you can use this to apply not only edges to it or dashed edges and colors you can also apply different symbols in here and these symbols are actually customizable so we'll talk about that in just a second um, the other nice thing about this is you can also adjust things using the scale functions in here so the style scale is going to allow you to adjust the scale of the uh, of the symbol that's in here as well as the scale of the dashes so like for example let's say that I added a break line right here to these edges well, you could also come in here and adjust that using the style scale. So if I was to type in 0.5, then I would get more of these break functions than I did with the style being one. So and you could also go the other direction. So if you wanted less of these break lines, you could go in here with a function you've already created and you could scale that up to something like two. And so if I scaled that up to something like two, you can see how I would get a different version of this break line function with this symbol in here. So the other so the other great thing about this extension is you can create custom symbols and custom line styles inside of your models. So you can use these to create your own um, custom styles that you can use for whatever you want. So let's say for example that I wanted to take this E and add that to a line style with dashes and everything else. Well, what you would do is you would select that and under your extensions, you would go into the DP line styler menu and in your manage styles, you can actually manage your symbols as well as creating a new style. So we would start by making a new symbol. And we would just call this the letter E symbol or something like that. And that creates a new symbol. Well, now you could go in here and go to manage styles create and you can create a custom style in here and that style is going to allow you to set all the different things from your line color to your dash pattern to which symbol is in here so we would select e symbol and the spacing for that and i would recommend going to the dp line styler page in the sketchup extension warehouse because there's some images in here that show you what all of these different things do which are really helpful so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave all of this as is and i'm going to set my symbol beat 
to 15, that's gonna be how often the symbol occurs. I'll set my symbol gap to something like two or three. That's just gonna create a space in your line for that. And we'll go ahead and call this E symbol. And so when we do this, this style is now gonna show up in my list of styles in my dropdown here. So you can create this and add this, and then if I come in here and select this edge, select my E symbol, and we'll go ahead and try it at one, and click OK, say yes, what it's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's gonna create a dashed edge or a dashed line using whatever you put in here. And I just wanna note that you can put pretty much anything in here. It doesn't have to be text or 3D text. So like for example, there's one in here that they've created. If I was to select this for 3D symbol, that actually adds a toy car model in here. So you can see how they set that symbol to just be this toy car. So you can really use this to create whatever kind of dashed lines or dashed edges you want inside of your model. I, I expect this is gonna be one of those extensions where you're either gonna really love it or you're not really gonna see a use for it. So if you create a lot of custom dashed lines and symbols and stuff, I can see how this would be really helpful for you. If you don't, you can probably get by with the dashed lines function in SketchUp. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you find this extension interesting? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.